Vice President for Research at NUI Galway, which explains why he will outline the potential research and R&D holds for Galway in 2040. Thanks very much, uh, Dave. Uh, I should also admit I'm also a dub and an adopted Galwegian. Uh, I'm happy to say I was in Croke Park in 1983 watching us uh, stuff Galway. Uh, I grew up playing with uh, James Ronane, so it was particularly enjoyable to, to be there. Um, I didn't get to Galway until 1990, but I do consider myself an adopted Galwegian. Uh, it's fantastic uh, to see the crowd that are here this morning, and, and I must say um, thank you all for coming. It's great that we'll have a good uh, crowd to engage with and hopefully interact with. Can I ask if any of the business studies students are here this morning? Okay, so it's probably safe for me to say that we shouldn't have told them uh, that the lecture was cancelled. Given that it's Friday morning, they probably wouldn't have even noticed that it wasn't a regular lecture, but uh, <laughs> I'm saying that in jest. Uh, and my final uh, introductory words are to uh, acknowledge uh, Rory and Paul and, and to thank them for the incredible work that they've done and the vision that they've put into this. Uh, it's been great fun working with them. Uh, what I would say is the next time you have an idea, uh, don't call me, I'll call you. <laughs> So down to the, the business of uh, the research uh, pillar, which, which I've been coordinating on behalf of, a, of quite a significant group. I don't know, can we have the, do I need to move the slides? Um, so firstly, just to outline briefly uh, our vision for Galway in 2040. Uh, from the research perspective is that Galway will be positioned as a world leader in selected areas of research that are of global significance and impact, that are relevant to the region and also of national strategic importance, that support and, ha and enhance economic development in the city and the broader region, and also very importantly that enhance our community environment and Galway as an attractive place to live uh, as families and for our children to grow up in. Um, in 2006, the IDA ran an international global uh, campaign to encourage industries into Ireland. And that campaign talked about the inventiveness of the Irish mind. Uh, and and they, they identified a range of either uh, first-generation Irish people internationally or multi-generational Irish people with, with uh, maybe diluted Irish blood in them across the world who basically had made and have made significant impacts in a global context um, in, in a variety of areas. And these are quotes from, from some of them uh, which you may or may not be able to read given the, the distance. But among the key traits that uh, were identified in this, and, and you can actually go on to the IDA website. If you Google Irish Minds, you, you can, there's some very interesting uh, videos on there. But some of the interesting traits that came up uh, in relation to the Irish Mind are curious, c good communicators, good collaborators, creative, and confident. And these traits were identified, among others, as being hugely important in, in terms of the value of these traits to Irish and uh, Irish uh, emigrants uh, and their descendants around the world in business, in research and development, in the creative arts, in humanitarian activities, and in education. And you could probably add to that. So the IDA looked global. And they looked around the world and identified people and, and uh, used this as a marketing tool for bringing companies to Ireland. But in Galway, we're very well uh, resourced in people who are inventive and creative. And I think the challenge and the opportunity for us is to harness that creativity and that inventiveness to ensure our future as a city and as a region in terms of, of uh, research, enterprise development, and as a nice and attractive place to live. Um, so there are a number of areas where Galway has 
I think, genuine international leadership and where we can become global centers of excellence uh, in R&D. And, and these areas are broadly listed here. I'll, I'll go into a, a little bit of detail in a minute about them. But uh, so we can become global centers of ex excellence for R&D, which will support innovation in terms of industry clustering, policy and practice around ensuring that uh, our industries and our uh, we cluster our industries, and the med tech would be one good example. The ICT industry is another. That we cluster these and we, we develop the right innovation policies and practices to ensure their sustainability, to ensure enterprise development, the creative and cultural industries, which are a very important part of, of Galway uh, life, and critically, the development of a socially inclusive and sustainable community. And these these areas, uh, and I think the future, build on existing strengths that we have. They build on natural uh, resources that we have in the area, and they also build on the human capital, the Irish mines that we have here in Galway. So I've combined the med tech industry and biomedical research uh, on this slide, and to quote uh, Ian Quinn, the chairman of Craigana, which is now becoming one of the global leaders in, in medical device technologies. First of all, he would say that Ireland has the chance to become the fourth globally significant cluster of medical device and diagnostics industries. Um, and given that the other, the, currently there are three identified clusters globally, and these are all in the US, in Boston, in Minneapolis, and in the Bay Area. So the fact that Ireland can become the fourth globally significant cluster is very significant. And it's also very significant that a very, very substantial element of that cluster is based in Galway and in the broad surrounding region around, around Galway City. So that gives us a huge opportunity for Galway to be the center of that fourth global, global hub. There's also a huge opportunity for us to link our ICT uh, research and development and enterprises with the medical devices industry in an area known as convergent technologies or convergence. And, one, and, and there's a number of areas that, that, this is, um, that this can be done, but one of, the, one of the really exciting areas is this area of connected health or assisted living, uh, as it's also known which is essentially how to make um, life easier for people from youth right through to the older population, where you can have uh, technologies supporting education, supporting health and exercise, and also supporting independent living uh, of disabled people and also of the elderly. So this is an area where there's huge potential, and by uh, linking our ICT and our medtech industries based within the, the, the region, I think there's a big opportunity there. The other area that we would see a very big opportunity for, for Galway is in, this, in the area of biomedical research from bench to bedside. We've recruited into our university and into our hospitals some of the world leading uh, researchers in biomedical research, in biomedical research, and also clinicians who have come from the U.S. and, and other countries, and who've who've really are operating at the at the cutting edge in a world sense in ter terms of their activities. So there's a particular opportunity for Galway to become a an international centre of excellence for research through to patient care in areas in particular in cancer and also in this other area called regenerative medicine, which is where you encourage the body to repair and regenerate its own tissues using, for example, adult stem cells. So we now have in place in Galway the people and we're building the physical infrastructure to become a Mayo Clinic of Europe, essentially in the areas of cancer and regenerative medicine. And we can also become an international hub for clinical trials in new drugs, new therapeutics, and in new diagnostics. 
in the area of um, energy, environment, and the marine, um, we, we have both the natural resources in the region, and given the amount of rain we've had over the last <coughs> few days, that the grass is certainly going to be growing very well. Um, so biomass, which includes grass, it might include marine algae or, or other marine <coughs> natural biological uh, materials are the basis of new biofuels and a processing uh, exercise called biorefining to produce energy. And this is an area where we have significant expertise uh, within the university, but also within local enterprises. And if we again harness that combination of human capital and natural resources, we can, we can do something really significant in a, in a global sense. And, and the other linked area to that is in smart building and district energy systems. The, the, the next thing there on, on the slide is Smart Bay. Smart Bay is an initiative headed up by the Marine Institute, which has been a very major partner, and I guess uh, Mike Devan will talk more to that. It's a very located in Oranmore, so it's a big partner now of Galway. And Galway Bay has been selected as the National Smart Bay, which essentially is, it's been, there's uh, cables being put into the bay, there are sensors and, and various other advanced technologies being put into the bay to, for environmental monitoring, for climate change analysis, and for energy uh, generation. So this provides a huge opportunity for Galway for sensor-based companies, for ICT <coughs> companies, to develop and evaluate their technologies uh, before they're, they're put onto the marketplace. And then the fourth area there is marine biodiscovery. And what, we, what we're sitting on the edge of is the Atlantic Ocean, as, as you well know. And the immediate um, offshore and even onshore um, area around Galway and the west of Ireland is a unique resource in a global sense in terms of biodiversity and in terms of opportunities to harness that biodiversity <coughs> In both, from both plant and animal sources uh, out in the marine for novel biomedical products, which might again be cures for cancer or other diseases. They might be uh, health enhancement products uh, for putting into food and, and various other applications that, that will have commercial value. So again, this is an area that there's huge potential. In the area of creativity, uh, culture, community, I mean, as, as I'm sure you're aware, Galway is known as the culture capital of Ireland, and there are huge opportunities, again, they're already being, being exploited, but I think, again, with, with some real focus, we can do some great things in the area of cultural tourism. Um, and, and I suppose I'm talking about it from us ensuring that we have a research and development activity which will feed the pipeline um, of these. So for example, film, uh, music, um, creative industries. Uh, the gaming industry is becoming a hugely important industry with the recent announcement of EA uh, Games coming into Galway, which is a fantastic um, achievement uh, for the IDA and for, for Galway. Uh, and, and, and this is a new state-of-the-art creative industry. I mean, we th tend to think of industries such as crafts and artisan foods and, and maybe design, clothing design, but, but software and games are, are, are others. Uh, and and uh, the opportunity is there for a creativity laboratory. We're already talking about establishing a creativity laboratory which, which will, in which ideas can be tested and practice in terms of performance, be it theatre, be it film, uh, or be it other um, areas. And, and creativity is also very much linked to our high technology medical devices industries, for example, because creativity is needed in terms of the ideas that will then be put into a design phase which will ultimately lead to, to products. The other the, um, items there on, on the slide 
are to develop Galway as an age-friendly and health-conscious community. And again, we've, we've, we've a newly established life course research institute at the university, which is looking at intergenerational research, literally from cradle to grave. I suppose in, in terms of, if I can backtrack, I don't know if I can backtrack, the, um, the, the final slide I showed is really that we can have all the high tech and we can have all the, the fancy everything to make our lives easier. Ultimately, ultimately what we want is a city and, and a region that we all want to live in, that new businesses want to come and locate in, and that which becomes a place that people will visit and want to stay and where ultimately uh, our lifestyles and our work and home environment are, are, are enjoyable. So the list here are the contributors to the, the thinking that has gone on to date. I won't go through the list, uh, but thank you very much for your time.